Hi Libra, welcome to Gemstone Tarot and this is your mid-January 2017 reading. Doing it a little bit different just this time, I'm trying out some new decks that I got over Christmas. So I'm doing five different cards. I'm doing one from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel Oracle deck. I'm doing one from Crazy Sexy Love Notes, which is a set of cards from someone called Chris Carr that you might have already heard of. Um, she's very inspirational and really gorgeous artwork as well. A little sneak preview of what you just got. So one from the Crazy Sexy Love Notes. I'm doing one from the Major Arcana of the Rider Waite. Ooh, what's that one? Because I like to anchor every reading with a bit of traditional tarot. Otherwise, I can't quite follow where I am. And one Doreen Virtue's Angel Oracle cards, the healing cards. So one of those, and then finally, a little bit left field, Cat Tarot, Spirit Cats. This is by Nicole P.R., that's P-I-A-R, and my sister got me them for Christmas. I believe they're crowdfunded cards as well, so that's always good. Good to support someone who's going out on a limb, being creative. Ooh, that one. Lovely. Okay, Libra, let's have a look. You may see me sipping Barocca because I'm getting a cold. So if you see me drinking something bright orange, that's what it is. Hmm. Okay, Libra, so we've got playfulness for your Romance Angel Oracle card. Can you see that one? This has come up loads actually, um, and not just because I'm not shuffling properly, because <laughs> I am. Um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I would say as well, Libra, this isn't just to do with romance. I think this is to do with you. Because um, looking across these five cards, I'm getting the feeling here that you might be feeling a bit down. I mean, it is mid-January and that's only to be expected. We're just on the cusp of, you know, a little bit of light nights coming in and the feeling that summer might actually be a possibility. Although I live in England, so hmm, perhaps not. But I feel there's been some inner struggle going on here. Maybe you've just been, you know, you've had the blues, the January blues, but a bit longer than that, perhaps, I'm getting the feeling. Um, and you need to return to a playful state, which is easier said than done, actually. You know, sometimes, especially in January, you sort of, up to Christmas, you're running on the gas of Christmas, aren't you? And then you come to January, you know, the wrapping paper's all been recycled. You've chucked away the stuff that you didn't want, you know, done all that bloated Christmas thing. And then you start taking score of where you are and thinking to yourself why am I trudging to this job day in day out you know when I get up and it's dark I go to sleep and it's dark and when am I ever going to have some fun or maybe you're at that point where you so you know in the drudgery of it that you're not even wondering when you're going to have some fun you're just doing it you're just on the hamster wheel so this card playfulness is telling you Libra to go and do something you enjoy. And if you are in a rut, don't reach too far for that. You don't have to suddenly take up, you know, skydiving or anything. Maybe change the route to work, change the way you go to work, change around your drawers, change around your house, change your routine. Um, if you were thinking of getting a, a pet, get a pet, play with a pet, play with your kids. If you've got kids, play with your partner, 
anything, friends, take up a sport, just have a laugh, watch some, you know, silly video on Facebook and have a laugh, but do take time out for that, that's just as important, um, I know everyone's got to pay the bills, obviously, but there's still always a bit of time to change up those small things. So I feel if this pertains to romance as well, it's the same. I mean, it's the same. There's not special things you do for a relationship that you don't do for yourself. Or there shouldn't be anyway, because that's just pretending, isn't it? You're not doing things for someone else. If you are playful, your relationship will improve. You know, you are going to be more attractive. You are going to attract better things. Your crazy sexy love notes, making waves really gorgeous card isn't it hold that up it's so beautiful it's your turn to make a splash and rock a few creaky boats don't be afraid to get wet you may fail you may look foolish or you may make people think in a new way every great trailblazer and change maker made waves and you're no different and I think that follows on from the playfulness you don't have to do a, a huge thing to make waves but if you feel an instinct for something follow it don't have that usual um caution you know don't follow your caution follow your bliss as they say however small that might be you know um and again don't be afraid to look foolish Sometimes looking foolish is playfulness. That's what children do, isn't it? Children, young children aren't bothered about looking silly. They just jump in puddles and do stuff. And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. They get up and they do other stuff. That's what I think that means. Or if it's to do with, I'm just getting a hunch here, it might be to do with work. Don't be afraid to stand up and be counted at work. If there's something that needs doing differently and you can tell that, say so. Don't be afraid to upset the apple cart. It will be a positive thing. Major Arcana, you've got the sun in reverse. Now the sun as a card and the Major Arcana here is powerful enough that it doesn't particularly matter that it's in reverse. But it does tell me, again like the January blues thing, that you're just not quite shining as you should be and you could be the playfulness the making waves going out on a limb will bring the sun back in for you at the moment it's feeling a bit gray things aren't quite going your way easily but even so major arcana the sun in a reading upside down or right way up it means that energy is available to you. It's not, you've not got negative energy flowing around. You may be feeling negative, but you don't have negative energy behind you. Angel Oracle Healing Card. Self-acceptance. That's a really beautiful card as well, isn't it? Now that one hardly ever comes up, so I'm going to look it up in here and see what Doreen Virtue there's anything I mean that's there's the obvious thing which fits in with all of the rest of your cards self-acceptance particularly if you're in a bit of a fug means accepting your weaknesses people have trouble accepting their strengths as well actually accepting both of those things owning what you're good at because you're good at lots of things and not putting yourself down. And that again sounds easy but isn't easy to live out in everyday life. And also some acceptance of where you are at the moment. I know there's quite a famous saying that says bloom where you are. I love that saying because it doesn't make too much difference where you are. You can always feel better than what you do at the moment and it's not usually to do with adjusting external things such as love and money and relationships it's to do with you so the Doreen Virtue says you're much too hard on yourself although you enjoy having high standards and Libras definitely have high standards 
It's important to view yourself through loving eyes. Berating yourself only makes your spirit sink and self-improvement comes from a positive mindset. See yourself through your angel's eyes and you will see someone who is perfect. Although you've made mistakes in the past, there's nothing you could have ever said or thought or done that would change God's love for you. The angels see past your surface mistakes. They see the beating heart of God's love within you. They love you unconditionally and they ask you to love yourself in the same way. Now for God and angels you can substitute source, a higher power, anything you like. I, you know, I do. I substitute what I believe in for that. But the message is very clear, Libra. You need to come to terms with where you are at the moment and love where you are at the moment in order to bring in the positivity for things to change. You don't need to necessarily make a spreadsheet and pinpoint the things that you need to push to change. You just need to look within, accept yourself and shine and those things will be attracted to you. They will come much more easily. And finally, your spirit cat, <laughs> this is Z, as in Z-E-D. He might not look like your ordinary house cat, but in fact he is one. He doesn't come from outer space or from a far off land. He lives just around the corner. He's constantly recreating himself to mirror the infinite possibilities of his imagination. Today he's purple and green, tomorrow he might be made of flowers and the next day have stars for eyes. We are all in a constant state of becoming. We don't need to stick with the familiar A, B and C. Sometimes we can reach for Z. Change things up, Libra. From the smallest things inwards, change things up. Be playful, make waves and the sun will shine. So that's what I've got for you, Libra. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. And if you want a private reading, you can contact me. Uh, the information is below. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, bye.